Number three, how to assemble the Z axis the right side. I think it's supposed to say side, but they put size. Okay, so um, pull out B5. We'll just leave that there. We're going to need B5 and this piece here. So again, we're going to cut and get this paper off. It's kind of annoying to get off. All right, just for those who want the satisfaction of seeing it being peeled brand new. Whoop. Oh. 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 Okay. And there's the camera, and there's me. All right. Let's get busy. Okay, so I think we're gonna need one motor this time. Shows the plug facing down. So we're gonna set it that way. And we're gonna start with the pulleys, basic stuff here, but we're gonna go ahead and do this in fast forward. Okay, so we're gonna go with pulley pulley. Pulley pulley. I mean, uh, bearing, bearing. Okay, so two of these are gonna need two spring washers and a nylon washer. And a nylon washer. The other one is going to need one spring washer. I call it, I call them lock washers. Uh, and each one gets their eccentric nut. Boom. Okay, so these pulleys are going to go downward on this here. Uh, the eccentric nut pieces are obviously going to go on the bigger holes here. Okay, so let's actually do those ones first. So we'll start off with the top one. It's going to go in like that. Let's put in one of those nuts. We're just going to hand snug these for now. Oh, almost fell off with that one. Hand snug this guy here. Boom, boom. Okay, and then these ones here with the nylon pulleys, they're going to go in the back. Okay, snug those in. Snug that one in. My little dog's being a butt. Cool, so now we got them all on. We're going to go ahead and tighten them until that spring washer is flat. Boom. Still fits, no play. That one is fast. Double spring washer. Boom. Perfect. So you can kind of get a feel for how fast these things go. Um, they don't feel like there's much resistance when you do it like this, so you might want to definitely use some Loctite, even if it's the slightest bit, just so that it doesn't come loose. This one. That was quick. Perfect. All right, got the pulleys, and now we're going to put the motor in. So we put the motor in down like it shows on the diagram. Okay, and then we're going to flip this over. And we're going to use these M3x8s, which are these smaller ones here. And how I'm going to do this so they actually go in perfectly square. Okay, so one thing I wanted to add here, because you're going to have to do some flipping here. You want to follow the diagram where um, that switch is facing downward, and then you're going to flip it over and then turn it this way to match this diagram, because you're going to need to follow um, which three holes these little tiny things go into, which is the top left. Okay. So essentially. You're putting the motor in with the switch still facing you, even if you flip it this way, but the pulleys have to be facing downwards. And then this part. And then this one. Always do it by hand first. I'm going to get them at least down pretty snug by hand first. And I'm trying to square up the edges by holding everything together. And then I'm going to keep going in a small pattern. Not too tight because you want to make sure that that is still good to go. And it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and snug these. Don't tighten these three until that fourth hole is perfectly aligned. Make sure your Allen wrench fits all the way into these screws so you don't slip them. Alright. So we still have plenty of nuts and screws, but it doesn't mention anything about it yet. Okay, it does. Alright, so on this part, 
Um, we're going to use this last long bolt here. It's the M3x25. We're going to put the nylon washer here. Well, first we're going to put this pulley. And then what I meant is that we're going to put this nylon washer here. And then this goes into this hole. And we're going to start it by hand, of course. Okay, so what they're not showing here is that well maybe it doesn't maybe they missed it in the diagram over here um, but there there is a small gap I don't know if you can see here in this little section here and it's it's the perfect width for a spring washer which I do see plenty of in this kit so we're gonna go ahead and take this off and add that spring washer in there which is something that we should have kind of figured because that's how they did did it on the other ones on the z-axis so boom that should tighten it up nice and neat Maybe if I put the spring washer on this side. We're just going to keep experimenting here. So, spring washer. And then bearing. Because then the spring washer won't bind against the nylon washer. Something that everyone can try if they want. If you don't want to, if you don't have to, you can go by the book. Alright, well, I guess maybe it's meant to have that play. I mean, it doesn't do much except for keep the belt there you know so let's just leave it at that